If you're thinking about coming to Geneva, there's very few places that really do live out what they purport to be. And it's truly a place that you feel God's presence. There's a peace about this place that comes from, I believe, lots of courage and prayer. From the very first day I set foot here till now, I just, I'm daily grateful that God allows this to be my job. Here, here's what drives it. Jesus is Lord. That's what drives it. Now, if that's true, if that's the fundamental assumption that Jesus is Lord, then everything else should fall into place. He's Lord of what? Well, he's Lord of chemistry. He's Lord of physics. He's Lord of humanities. He's Lord of Spanish. He's Lord of Latin. In other words, there's nothing that we say, you know, hands off to, that, or there's nothing that, that Christ says, oh, that, that's not mine. It's all his. And we educate that way. But when we say that it's a Christian school, we say that the reason we study these subjects is to learn about who God is. So if we're studying math, we're studying math because he's a God of order, and we see his orderliness in the equations that we're studying. And it's not just that we sing hymns each Monday, it's that in every class that I go to, there's an underlying tone of spirituality and the things that we discuss. Like we just read a book called The Road, and we discussed for a good two weeks about the question, what does it mean to be human from a Christian worldview? Your content is both the Word of God and these classic texts, especially the texts of the Western tradition. Then what you are doing is you're engaging your students in a conversation that Christians and the church, more or less, has been engaged in for centuries. And it's a conversation about what it means to be a human being and what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ living in this world. The classical piece goes hand in hand, right, with that. As we're looking for what's beautiful and what's true and what's good in the world, God um, is those things, all of those things, and they're ultimate. I get the privilege of having a class that we do a lot of discussion and a lot of talking, and I get to connect literature to biblical ideas and biblical truth. So we end up in a, a lot of heady conversations and I really treasure that opportunity to speak that kind of life and hope into those middle school years because they're hard. Every year I reflect on what I have the privilege of getting to do, and that is be involved in um, the hearts and minds and souls of children. I tell my teachers all the time, those are little souls that walk through your door every day. Part of that is this joy that comes with getting to be in a day-to-day -day influential position with young children, to love them, to model for them God's love, but to also hold them to a really high standard. The same goes to faculty, every single person who's employed by this school is knows your name and, and you oftentimes know their name and, and, and they pray for you constantly. The relationship that, that students and teachers have is that the teacher is your friend and the teacher is that person who cares about you enough to push you and challenge you. I just love being at Geneva. When I think about going to college next year, part of me you know, is ready to move on and go to college, but a part of me, I'm so comfortable here and I'm so loved here and supported that it's, hard, it's going to be hard for me to leave. The culture and the dynamic that has been fostered here and cultivated here has caused these kids to love each other like Christ wanted us to love each other. I mean, I don't know that I've ever seen anywhere, church, anywhere, a better example of loving each other than what our kids do for each other. I think one of the things that when people come on campus and if you spend any time here, you realize pretty quickly that, you know, these kids are hardworking. They're very determined. There's an entrepreneurial spirit here that's on campus that's, that's probably prevalent through all the, the families here at Geneva. I think it's, it's challenging just because we're just held at such a high standard. And it's a good thing that we're held at such a high standard and there's a lot required of us and there's a lot for us to do and we gotta manage our time wisely. But in that, if we do it well and if we do it correctly, then it's gonna benefit us in college. It's almost like a jump start.
When you look at our portrait of a graduate, it's raising young men and women who are good thinkers, can think well, and who are articulate, who are humble, who are servants of Jesus Christ, and in whatever vocation they're in, they're prepared to be all of those things for the cause of Christ. That matters.